Now that we have installed our fans, the next step is to install your CPU onto your motherboard. Right here, you can see we have an AMD CPU and an AMD motherboard. Now this is actually a personal first for me for installing the AMD CPU, but it seriously is really next to like different pins. It's no different from an Intel CPU, so it, sh it really should be no different for me. See these parts over here? These three things came at the motherboard. These are SATA cables, and we will not need these yet. This is your I.O. plate that goes on the back of the PC case. And these plug into the motherboard to connect your pins to the front panel of your case. These you can set aside because you will not need these right now until we install the motherboard. What is best to do before you take it out of this bag is to ground yourself. If you look over here, I can ground myself on this metal, this touch any metal. Make sure you're not wearing any clothing that will make static. Because one shock and your motherboard could be dead just like that. It's very bad to touch some kind of grounded metal, touch like a plugged in computer or touch like your anything you would normally get shocked on to ground yourself, get rid of all that static electricity. Otherwise you could wear an anti-static wrist strap. In 90% of cases or more so, 99% of cases, you do not need an anti-static wrist strap. It's just precautious and if you're really afraid that something might happen. Well, we go out here. I want to make sure you have an open area. I have my desk cleared off here. So I want to make sure you have an open area to do this. You have a lot of space. Put your motherboard back down on the anti-static bag. So it doesn't like rub any of the back pins on the desk or anything like that. Get any residue of the desk on the motherboard. Make sure your hands are fairly clean. And like not super greasy. Um, so you don't get any residue on the components. Here you will unbox your CPU. So right here, make sure again, and you'll see my um, how-to videos that you have a compatible CPU and everything, or how how to find your components videos. Let's take that out of your box. This is actually a AM3 um, uh, AM3 CPU, and this is the AM3 Plus motherboard, but they are backwards compatible with AM3 processors. So this is what I will be using right here. I'll set this to the side. This is your instruction manual. I will not be needing this, but it shows you like different pins and all that stuff right here that you can use. I showed this in the unboxing. Set this to the side. And then in this box is your heat sink. And you want to make sure when you open this, open this up, there's a plastic piece on the bottom of the heat sink. Do not let that come off. Because that's covering off your thermal paste right here. So this plastic right here, this thermal paste is right, that gray stuff you see right here. You do not want to touch that, get any hair on it. So keep this plastic piece on for now and just set this off to the side over here. So it will not um, get in your way. Next, you open up your CPU. You see right here that um, there are pins. I don't know if that's in focus or not. But they're golden pins right there. You want to make sure do not bend any of those pins. Be as careful as possible not to touch the pins. You will also see before you actually open that, you will want to go right here. And actually, there's this little lever that is on the side of your motherboard. This little lever right here is actually a lock for the CPU. It moves, if you can see right here. It's moving. Let me get my hand out of the way. You can't, I don't know if you can see on the video, but this plastic piece right here moves. It locks the CPU in place. When it's up, it's unlocked. And that's where we're going to have it for now. Now we're going to actually take out the CPU out of this case. You can just like move the sticker over to the side. On Intel CPUs, there's actually um, the pins are right here. So you're going to want to make sure not to bend any of those pins. And there's usually a plastic cover that goes over it. You'll take off. That kind of looks like this. But you'll take off and you'll see all the pins right here on an Intel CPU. On an AMD CPU, however, use this specific one. You have a like a styrofoam piece right here that goes over. And you see your, all your golden pins. 
right there. Now you want to make sure not to touch any of these. You look down, it's kind of cool. You want to make sure not to touch any of these. You'll see a little arrow right in the corner, right here. Uh, it's a golden arrow, and that will point towards where to install it. You see right here, there's also a tiny little indention arrow in the corner right here. You turn the CPU to that corner. You make sure you go down straight. Just like that. Snugly fix in. Make sure you just jiggle it just a tiny bit. Not very hard. And it is set in just like that. You push this down. It's going to feel like it's hard. But it will not break. Just make sure your CPU is set in correctly. And your CPU is now locked into your motherboard just like that. What we will do here is it's best to rub this off with rubbing alcohol to help remove any residues and that stuff from the CPU to get perfect contact. But in the case of um, just using a stock heat sink, it really, and you're not overclocking because it's mostly clean anyway, it's really, I mean, it's a tiny bit of residue. If you don't have rubbing alcohol, don't think it's urgent to buy it. It's always, if you have to remove thermal paste, you will need it. It's the cheapest way where you can buy specialty compounds, um, like um, things that will get rid of the thermal compound off the CPU when you're replacing it or changing out heat sinks. Um, but in the case of this, I will not need to clean it. It will, it will not affect performance at all, really, to have, have that on there. It's recommended, though. So if you do have rubbing alcohol, um, you can do it. Just make sure not to um, get any extra. Okay, now that we have the CPU here, I mean CPU heat sink, see right here. And AMD is a little bit different in the fact that it has um, these pins on the side on the heat sink and this plate that's already pre-installed on the motherboard. Intel has push pins, you'll have to line up and you'll see diagrams and instructions that are much harder to use and sometimes they don't get stuck through the board and connected. And this right here is way easier, I can already tell, even though this is the first time I've personally installed an A. Well, technically it's the second time I've installed an AMD heatsink. I helped my friend re um, repaste his and actually I re um, redid um, an AMD heatsink. But this is the first time I personally installed one on a computer I've built. And it's, we want to line these up. I don't think it goes any specific way. Next, you want to line. You have these little sockets here. Pretty self explanatory. Make sure those are on the right side. Just like that. And it appears they are. I don't think it. You'll probably turn it this way and it wouldn't mat matter either. So I'm going to actually probably go this way because the fan as well, like installing the fans, you want the wire on whatever side so you can wrap it around your fan like this. And um, less wire clutter, pretty much. But now, I'm just going to set this down right here. Make sure you set it down even. Just like that. like that and now you will um, once they're both on the hooks you will latch it down and your heatsink is installed just like that make sure it doesn't wiggle any and it's very secure on there I gotta say AMD heatsink much much easier to install than um, Intel's 
um, heat sink, stock heat sink, which is good for the novice computer builder if you're watching this um, video. It's kind of like wrap these cables up, I guess you can tape them or zip tie them or stuff them behind the motherboard once you're done. But right there, that's how you install your CPU into a motherboard. Uh, if you have any questions, um, please comment below and continue on to how to install your motherboard into your case.